Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's August 20th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey and Chris Glossy from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, thank you for being here in the uh, dog days of summer, gentlemen. Uh, relatively flat uh, yields on the week, uh, relatively limited secondary market trading activity. Grant, why don't you take us through what you did see? Yep, those are both uh, both true, Mike. The, um, you know, market yields continue to hold pretty steady. Uh, they have lost some steam, though, and, and they've certainly lost ground. Uh, to Treasury, so the slight underperformance, you know, is notable given the strong seasonal um, supply demand factors, and that's a dynamic that has basically underscored uh, the strength of the asset class all year. But you know, over the last couple of months, um, I think investors are uh, looking for a little bit higher kind of risk risk premiums, um, regardless of the fact that uh, investors still seem to be sitting on a lot of cash. So. We've had 70 billion of uh, inflows year to date, which is a record. And, um, and you know, if you really look at the last two months, you've had, you know, long treasury rates are down uh, uh, just about 25 basis points on the long bond and, and AAA uh, muni um, uh, high grades are unchanged at a, at a 150. So um, see a little bit of underperformance there. And you also credit spreads really haven't budged over that period Obviously, it's a far different story uh, year to date where we've seen uh, triple B and high yield um, indices tighten uh, by 65 and 90 basis points, respectively. So we had a very strong uh, first half of the year. Uh, the market is still pretty solid, but uh, there does seem to be, um, I would say, a little bit more selective uh, investing going on you know you did it's probably not um given kind of that outperformance and in, in the lower rated paper it's probably not surprising to see that Naveen following a similar move by Invesco uh decided to close their uh flagship high yield fund to uh to new investors and I think that is really kind of giving a nod to the fact that um they can't uh, deal flow just cannot keep pace with with their cash and so um, it's really a way of sort of protecting existing investors from having to chase yields. Um, and uh, and uh, that's it. We had a, you know, as Chris will say, we had a pretty uh, robust uh, week this week in the new issue calendar, but it looks to be a little bit lighter uh, next week, Chris. Uh, that's right, Grant. As you alluded to, we had a pretty strong week this week. Uh, we topped $450 million of par insured. This week, we priced 20 series across eight states. We also saw some heavy volume in the competitive space, pricing 12 transactions um, in, in that market. Uh, the headliner of this week was the Kansas Development Finance Authority transaction. This was a state appropriation credit that is rated AA3 A+. Um, Citigroup was the lead underwriter. This transaction, BAM insured a $300 million index eligible term bond maturing in 2051. We received feedback that there were 25 institutional accounts uh, putting in for this transaction with some international accounts coming in as well. Um, after the deal price, the deal uh, was bumped to an eight, to price at 87 spread. And we've also seen some additional tightening in the secondary market as that deal has freed up. Uh, two other transactions to note, there were two Stiefel Nicholas transactions. There was the Northeast Ohio Medical University for 19 million. There was also a California school district for Lancaster school district totaling $18 million of par value. And that KDF day, uh, KDFA transaction was taxable, and it was the second uh, taxable index eligible bond uh, that BAM has insured so far this year. So, uh, you know, a good step forward in raising awareness of valuations for BAM insurance uh, across the markets and internationally. Um, looking ahead to next week, I think the, the top line of uh, the new issue calendar is, is back closer to $7 billion. What are you seeing uh, on your front? That's right. Seven billion is the number uh, as of today. So we're expecting to price roughly three hundred million dollars of par next week. The transaction to highlight is the one hundred twenty-two million dollar North Fort Bend water transaction with Piper Sandler, it's with Benning and Scattergood, a forty-two million dollar Altoona ASD uh, area school district deal in Pennsylvania. Um, and we also are expecting to see some lower volume in the competitive market as we get closer to that Labor Day holiday. And certainly BAM's underwriters are reporting that they remain busy. So uh, you know, while you may have a couple of weeks of lighter uh, pricing activity, uh, it sounds like September will still uh, you know, kick back in. Thanks uh, for your time this week, gentlemen. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you next week as we uh, wound down the summer. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Mike.
Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 